Hi everyone, Micah here. Today's video is for the person who really wants to meet someone new. Now this could be a new friend, this could be totally platonic, you just need a new social circle, you're just not feeling fulfilled in your life, you want new friends, or this is for the person that wants to meet the love of their life and they just are meeting the same people all the time and they don't know why. Uh, maybe it's just you're just attracting the wrong people. Maybe you're just not meeting. You're just not meeting people when you go out or on apps or whatever it is. So I'm going to teach you three things to start doing today that will elevate your chances instantly to meet the people that you want to meet, right? So let's get started. First thing I want to teach you is it's so obvious. It's such a simple thing, but people just, they keep going to the same bars, the same restaurants, the same clubs, going out with the same circle of friends and wondering why they never meet anybody new or the right person. It's because you are going to the same places. What's the definition of an insanity? I'm actually gonna put it on the screen right now. Read that. That's the definition of insanity, right? You're going to the same places, you're doing the same things and expecting change. Well, let me teach you this. The next time you make plans, I want you to go somewhere you have never been before. Get out of your comfort zone. So for me, let's say I'm going to the same five, six social places. I'm just not meeting the right people. Well, you're not going to. You need to mix it up totally. Go somewhere completely out of your comfort zone and meet people there. So for instance, one of the best places I say to go meet somebody is a nonprofit event. Like it could be a and a, a, a you know a very casual brunch that's a fundraiser for something you feel passionate about or a gala a black tie gala where people are buying tickets to raise funds for something this is the best place to meet somebody because people usually clean up well they're there for a good cause they have a beautiful heart because they want to give back they you know you have something in common because you clearly had a passion for whatever it is whether you're saving you know, animals, or you are donating to the arts, or you are therefore children's cause or family cause, whatever it is, you all are there for the same reason. So you instantly have something to talk about. And think about this, people are giving their money to raise funds for something. So what a nice gesture, right? So get out of your comfort zone, do something totally different, Google the best nonprofits, events, black tie events, casual events, whatever is your thing, go meet somebody, go ride a bike race, a 5k run, whatever it is to raise funds, get out of your comfort zone. You will meet like-minded people there. But also this, this also stands for if you're going to the same bars, do not go to the same bars. If you're going to the same social clubs, do not go to the same social clubs. You're going to the same school events, whatever it is, mix it up, go somewhere else. Tip number two, wear something bright. That's right, it is so basic, it's so simple, but when you wear something bright, you automatically attract attention. Now, maybe this is too bright for you, and you wouldn't wear something like this, but at least have a pop of color. Maybe it is a pocket square, maybe it's a blazer, maybe it's a bright shoe, maybe it's a pop of color in your bag, maybe it's something you wear in your hair, whatever it is. For me, I go full on, um, but you know, maybe it's a suit, something, but wear color. People are attracted to color, it's vibrant. People often put themselves in all black or grays or muted tones because they don't want attention. And maybe you don't like attention and it doesn't feel like you, but you will attract attention. And then you can pick and choose who you want to interact with. Number three, and oh, also, P.S., it's a great conversation starter. Wow, that is such a good color. The whole room was so dark and there you were. Or I love your outfit, or, I love your dress, I love your handbag, whatever it is. It gives somebody else something to come talk to you about. It's a conversation starter, but also, um, you know, it, it, so it does attract people, but then it gives them something to come talk to you about. Tip number three, be brave. Introduce yourself. You have got to get over this whole thing about waiting for people to introduce themselves to you. If you don't, you know, go up and just walk up and introduce yourself, you are missing 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Think about that. Think about basketball. If I don't even take, I'm really horrible at basketball, but if I don't even take a shot, I'm never going to get the chance to get through the hoop, right? So I want you to remember this. I always tell this story. I wrote about it in my book. So I introduced myself to my husband. He was wearing a pink shirt. 
a whole sea of people wearing dark colors and he was wearing a pink shirt. Conversation starter. Ooh, I know what to say to him. I love your shirt. It's such a good vibe when everybody else in here was so dark. Hi, my name is Micah. Nice to meet you. Whatever. That's not what I said to him. You have to read my book if you want to hear what I have my, my opening liner to him. But the point is, is that you have to be brave. So deep breath and you walk up and you introduce yourself to that person. It could just be a friend. Oh my gosh, I love that. You know, I love your dog. She's so cute. I love your handbag. Your shoes are killer. Your hair is on point today. I love all the, I just, ugh, that color is amazing. I really want to, to go red and I've been thinking about it for a while. It looks amazing. Whatever it is that you just said to somebody, it should be a compliment, but walk up, introduce yourself to a friend, to a love interest. And you know what? If you are afraid, if you're, if you're fearful about, oh gosh, I really, I just don't think I can do it. I'm, you know, my ego would be shot down if they turned away and didn't, you know, want to talk to me. Who cares? Who cares? You know how many shots I take that I miss? You know how many people I introduce myself that it doesn't go somewhere? But imagine had I not walked up and introduced myself to my husband. So on that note, be brave, introduce yourself, walk up, and sometimes being vulnerable and saying, hi, my name is Micah, it's so nice to meet you. I just want to introduce myself. I don't know anybody here, so I just thought I'd come say hi. With a nice smile, genuine, good energy, and people will, will respect that because it's hard to do. They'll take you under their social wing. Oh, Micah, please come meet my friend Andy, meet my friend Elizabeth and Tara, whatever it is. And that's how you will meet new people. So remember those three tips the next time you go out, even think about in an app. If you're app dating, wear something bright. Have that be that conversation starter. Go to a different app you've never been to before, right? That's getting out of your comfort zone, going somewhere else. And then don't be afraid to introduce yourself. So contact that person first, unless you're on an app where that's not possible. Um, but you, you want to make sure that you, wherever possible, you ask that person out first, or you start conversation up with that person. You introduce yourself first to that person. If they don't write you back, who cares? But if you didn't take that shot, you would never have known if there was something there. And on that note, go get them, be brave. Fluorescent pink is my color today. I'm gonna go network and I will see you all next time.